Hey guys, I'm Teresa Sterling and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a video. I've seen this little thing all around YouTube and I had to try it out for myself. I ordered it on Amazon, but it shipped from Australia, so it literally took me like two weeks to get. But I finally got it. This is like that silicone sponge beauty blender type of thing that everyone is seeing on Instagram. The first time I saw this was on Instagram and then I saw Jeffrey do a video about it. And then everyone else started doing videos on it and I was like, you know what, I gotta try it. And then I was at a photo shoot a little bit ago and the makeup artist pulled this out and I was like, do you like it? She's like, yeah, like surprisingly I do like it. So I'm really curious to see what this is all about. I'll leave a link to it down below where you can get it. It was like $6. In today's video, I'm going to be comparing the silicone sponge and the beauty blender. What is better? So I'm going to do the silicone sponge on my right side and the beauty blender on my left side. And everything that I use the beauty, beauty blender for, I'm going to use a silicone sponge for. So that's foundation, concealer, and my powder. So yeah, um, I'm really skeptical about this, not going to lie, but I'm pretty anxious to try it out. So at the end of the video, I'll let you guys know my thoughts on it and everything like that. But for the time being, let's just get started shall we oh quickly before i begin i just want to say if you guys are new to my channel be sure to subscribe i upload videos at least like four times a week so subscribe join the fam and let's get into it so my skin is already primed so the foundation today that i'm using is the estee lauder double wear foundation i'm in the shade ivory beige so i've poured enough sides i like poured enough for both products of the beauty blender and the silicone sponge so let's dive right in so this is clean i didn't wet it i don't think you're supposed to dipping it in Whew. okay first thing that i noticed that i've never noticed with this foundation is that i can see every hair on my face like perfectly and I don't think it's the foundation fault because I've never noticed that. I don't know if you're supposed to like swipe it down or pat it. I think patting it would make it look best, but oh my lord, I picked up too much. Am I doing this like totally wrong? Okay, I've only picked up one thing. Like I've only swiped in once and I literally think I, I'm going to be able to cover my whole face with it well half of my face but it's sort of just sitting on my skin like as expected it's not really absorbing into my skin and I like I really didn't think that it would either but I sort of thought that it would pick it up a little bit okay so the more you blend it in the more it sinks into your skin This foundation's also a little bit too pink for me. But it does, like, it blends in, but I, honestly, you can just sort of, like, let me zoom in. So, if you guys can tell, you can, like, pretty much see every little pore that I have, which, I mean, I don't really, I don't have big pores, so it's fine. And it's not this foundation because I've used this foundation with, like, every brush and product. So I really think it's this. It just feels like it's sitting on my skin. Like honestly, all I want to do is go into my beauty blender and like pounce it in, but I'm not gonna do that. I mean, the coverage looks pretty good, but right here I'm like really not liking that. Okay, let's move on to the beauty blender side. But I only did one dip for the entire right side of my face, so that's nice. It obviously, since it's not like a legit sponge, it's going to uh, um, not absorb product, so your product is gonna go a lot longer, which is nice. I think I might have picked up too much. Like this side just looks so much more natural and like less cakey. Like maybe I'm just being dramatic. Okay, so here is the beauty blender side. To me, this side just looks like heavy and kind of unblended. I think I just, I think I, um, put on a little bit too much product to be honest with you but I just think it also it just is like sitting on my skin like I can see a clear distinction in the monitor this just looks heavy and like it's sitting on my skin and this looks nice and sunken in 
So, yeah, I'm like, as soon as I'm done, I'm gonna go back in and like buff it out with my beauty blender on the silicone sponge side, but I'm gonna finish out the vid. Okay, now for concealer, I'm gonna use Tarte Shape Tape. I'm guessing I don't have to use as much on this side but I just put on as much as I normally would. So go me. Silicone sponge, like what do I even call this little thing? Ooh, okay, I cannot get in like, ooh, this corner right here. Ah, ah. Guys, I really don't like this thing. Like, ah, oh, ooh. Maybe I just got a bad one. Maybe I'm doing it so wrong. It literally just like amplifies my pores. Ah, haha. Ha. Ah. Ugh. Ew. It's just. Ugh. It's just separating. Forehead looks horrible. Under eyes look like okay. Like I would never pick this up again to use it for underneath my eyes. Let's put it that way. Gross, okay. Beauty blender. It just looks so thick and ugh, unblended. Yesterday I was watching wedding videos, like YouTubers that are just getting married and I was crying all afternoon. I mean, the beauty blender is so my comfort zone, but it's also just because it just has good results every time. Like I can, always trust my beauty blender and like look like that just looks so heavy and this just looks light like yeah it takes product away but it's because it takes excess product away i can so distinctly tell a difference this side just looks heavy and so thick and literally just like it's sitting on top of my skin and this side just looks so much better and like lifted do you am i being crazy am i being a little biased all right, well, let's finish this. Let's finish it up. RCMA, no color powder. I'm gonna need to order another one soon. Look at how low she's getting. We're gonna do the same thing I would do with the beauty blender. So let's set it with powder. I don't think this is like made for powder, but we're gonna try it because I'm already here. You know, honestly, would even pick anything up. No. Oh, there's a little bit of something, something. Like, you just can't really get under your eye. Like, there's no good way to get there, which is a little frustrating. Okay, so it applies powder nicely. Like, it, the powder looks pretty good. It just reminds me of applying with, like, a dry beauty blender. It's just a little hard to pick up the powder. But once you have it, it does apply pretty well it's just it's kind of messy but um it can be done maybe i'm just being kind of an idiot but um it can be done all right beauty blender save me thank you so much <laughs> the powder went a little bit of a longer way with the beauty blender baking doesn't have to look pretty like it doesn't have to look pretty but that that just took so much less time than it did on the silicone sponge side so i mean in terms of time beauty blender is where it's at all right let me finish my face gather my thoughts and i will be right back so final thoughts um will i ever use it again uh pr honestly probably not like i won't bring it on trips with me i won't rely on it when i need to like look beat um, I do, where's my mirror? I do think the coverage is, it's very full coverage, but it's just because it just sets on your skin. Like it doesn't really absorb it. It doesn't really, I don't know. I just, I personally don't like it. And I personally wouldn't recommend buying it. I'd recommend buying a beauty blender instead. Um, but I know people that really do like it. So I mean, that's just my opinion, and will I ever use it again? No. But again, it was only $6, so it's not like I lost like 40 bucks off this stupid thing, you know, whatever. Honestly, everyone has, people have done videos where it's like using a chicken cutlet to like do it, and it feels like the exact same thing. 
end. I mean, the texture, I mean, it doesn't have like a chicken cutlet texture. It is a smooth surface. It's just so not great looking. Like it's fine, but um, I probably won't use it again. The Beauty Blender is just my tried and true. And with everything, the Beauty Blender can do everything really, really well. And the silicone sponge just sort of, it's just struggled with a lot of things. There wasn't really anything that I was like, yeah, like this works really well with. I mean, the powder applied fine, but it's just hard to get in the crevices of your face and I don't know, whatever. So yeah, those are my final thoughts on it. Um, I wouldn't recommend it, but if you want to try it out, it's $6, but just keep your $6 and towards that, put that towards a beauty blender is what I'm trying to say. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below if you guys have tried this little thing and what you guys think of it as well. Um, if you guys want to see my last video, that's right here. And my last review video is right here. Love you guys so much. Have a great rest of your day and I'll talk to you in my next one. Bye.